I'm Liana Dagbashian and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company Western Armenia. Today's broadcast, the 5-meter snow layer in Van. Artsakh Security Council Chief Vitali Balasanyan issues a statement. Jalal Harutunyan is appointed Armenian Military Oversight Service Chef. The ACHR has made the most criminal convictions in its history against Turkey. Lake Balaklı, Garin, Western Armenia, does not freeze even at minus 50 degrees. The most famous female offer of Western Armenia, Zabel Yesayan. Today is David Sarapian's birthday. Snowfall in children when Western Armenia has a negative impact on life. The hard work of clearing the roads covered with 5 meters of snow continues with the participation of rescue squads. Efforts to open roads in villages and in the highlands continue. The height of snow reaches from 4 to 5 meters in high places. The only purpose is to eliminate the problem of obstruction of the movement of the inhabitants here and to ensure their connection with the province. Secretary of the Artsakh Security Council Vitali Balasanyan has issued a statement. The announcement particularly says, Reports are circulating that an Azerbaijani flag will be placed on state buildings in Stepanagertir Renaissance Square. I consider it necessary to categorically deny this. There are reports being disseminated in some media and social media that the Artsakh Defense Army will be disbanded and according to the logic of those reports, there will be no organization to protect the borders of Artsakh. In this regard, I would like to inform that the state bodies of Artsakh are currently engaged in the matter of organizing professional units on a contractual basis in order to protect our borders. There are fears in some circles of the society that, for example, the Kyrgyzstan, Ajapnyak, districts of Stepanakert or the village of Ivanyan of Askeran will soon be populated by Azerbaijani families. There are also rumors being circulated that Azerbaijanis are shopping, especially in the shopping outlets of Stepanakert. I assure that such rumors have no basis. Dear Artsakh people, on behalf of the Artsakh authorities, I assure you that despite the irreparable losses inflicted on us as a result of the hostilities, the state is always committed to fulfill its obligations to ensure the safety and normal life of the population. Accordingly, I urge not to hit fake news and to believe that everything has been done and is being done to create and expand the necessary conditions for a dignified life of the Artsakh people. Jalal Harutunyan, the Artsakh former defense minister and defense army ex-commander, has been appointed head of the military oversight service of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia. News.am reports that Kevor Kaltunyan, head of the Information and Public Relations Department of the Ministry of Defense, mentioned. To note, the aforesaid position was previously held by Movses Hakopian, who had submitted his resignation from this post on November 18, 2020. According to the results of 2020, Turkey is the first country that the European Court of Human Rights has found guilty of violations. The columnist of the Turkish Hurriyet newspaper, Sedat Ergin, referred to the topic. Last week, the ACHR published statistics on judgments made since inception in 1959 by countries. Turkey has again maintained its leading position in terms of violations. Moreover, if we take into account that Turkey allowed individual applications in 1987, then these violations took part in only 34 years, the offer writes. According to the published data, the ACHR handed down verdicts a total of 3,742 against Turkey in from 1987 to 2020, of which 3,309 were accused of violating at least a right. Lake Balıklı in Erzurum, Western Armenia, which does not freeze even at minus 50 degrees, turns out to have healing properties. Locals consider Lake Balıklı to be sacred. The most important feature of the lake is that it doesn't freeze even on the coldest days of winter. In addition, locals claim that the lake water is healing. Despite the cold weather, the water temperature can rise to plus 22 degrees. Besides, there are green meadows in the place where the water flows. Zabel Yesayan was born on February 4, 1878, in the district called Silichar Park in Constantinople. She first studied at a private school, then graduated from Skutar Surbhaj College. She studied with Arshak Chopanyan for a year. Zabel Yesayan is one of the most famous figures of modern Armenian literature in Istanbul. Her stories have been published in almost all Turkish Armenian newspapers for 20 years. Arshak Chopanyan's Flower magazine first published a prose poem by Yesayan when she was 17 years old. Then Zabel Yesayan lived in Paris as a student of literature until 1902, then returned to Constantinople, dedicated her life to beautiful literature. At the end of the Adana horrors, Zabel Yesayan went to Silesia to see and form an idea of the endless misery suffered by the local Armenian people. The result of that lady's journey was her work entitled In the Ruins. The working invitation received from Yerevan University in 1933 
would be fatal for Zabel Yesayan. Times were catastrophic. Stalinist violence, persecution, imprisonment, and executions. The writer's speech at the Writers' Union was followed by an arrest in 1936. There is no definite data on the circumstances and date of the most fertile female writer of Western Armenia. The date of death, according to some information, is 1943. One of the legends of the Artsakh Liberation War, David Sarapyan, would have turned 55 today. David Sarapyan was born on February 4, 1966, in Yerevan in the family of an architect. His father, Edward Sarapyan, was the chief architect of Yerevan, and his mother, Emma Sarapyan, was a prominent scientist. He left for the Soviet Army in May 1984. In October 1985, he was sentenced to four years in prison for inter-ethnic conflict. He did not return to the institute after being released from the prison. He was involved in cinema working with Gennady Melkumyan as an assistant director. In 1990, he left for the front and joined the ranks Independence Army of Commander Leonid Azgazian. Later in the Great Tigran Militia Regiment, he took part in the self-defense battles of Buzluk, Manashir, Karachinar, Sarisu, Erkesh villages of Shahumyan region. The Armenian warrior force was spreading terror on the enemy. It is not a coincidence that the Ezeris called him Aher Dev. He took part in the liberation of the village of Toh in the Hadrut region on October 13, 1991, under the command of General Arkadi Ter Tadevosyan. Returning home, David tells his mother, Your native village is liberated. Now I have to liberate my father's hometown, Erzrum. It was the last meeting of the mother and son. Dev was killed on December 10, 1991, in a battle for the village of Todan in the Shahumyan region. He is buried in the Yarablur Pantheon in Yerevan. By the decree of the President of the Republic of Armenia, David Sarapyan was awarded the Order of Courage in 1996. Now we present you a song, Grung Gna Medier Gir, by students of Armenia Hunanyan. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.